Hey guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design at Nashville, Tennessee, and today I am going to show you how to quickly automate your styles for either a glossary or an index or other back matter sort of um, chapter of your book so that you don't have to go through and manually apply character styles to it every time. So to get started, let's go ahead and place it in the Word manuscript I have that contains the index for this book. So I'm going to go to File, Place, and I'm going to navigate now to where that is located. All right, so I've gone ahead and placed my glossary into this InDesign document. We don't have anything fancy going on here. This is just a regular text box that flows across three different pages. Um, we're not going to do a bunch of styling here. We're not going to make this look super pretty. I'm just going to get right on about how to bold this portion. So what I could do, right, is I could manually come through this document and highlight this term and then choose bold. Or if I was being slightly more efficient, I could go to my character styles tab. I don't know if you can see that. Let me move my stuff out of the way. I could make a new character style for bold. I could name that bold and then tell it to be a style of bold. Now I can highlight each term up until that colon and click bold. Then I can load that term onto my eyedropper and continue to highlight as I went. However, I have three pages worth of this to do, and I am feeling lazy today. I do not want to manually apply these to every single one. This is especially important if you have a large index or a glossary, um, say it goes on for 30 pages worth, and you don't want to have to apply that bold style to each and every single one of these. Instead, let's have InDesign automate it for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the character styles from these and make them regular again. So first things first, I am going to go ahead and make a paragraph style for all of this text. And it looks like it came in already as a word style called normal. We can go ahead and just edit that right here. I'm gonna call it glossary. And here is the key to making this work. We are going to go to this tab at the bottom. We're going to use the nested styles tab. So nested styles, don't, don't freak out if you've never used these before. It can be confusing until you know what you're looking at. So just from the top here, we know we don't need a drop cap, so don't even worry at all about this area. Instead, we're gonna make a new nested style. And what do we want, right? We want those first words to be bolded. So the style, the nested character style that we're looking for, zoom out where we can see it, is we want to use that character style of bold that we already made. So I'm going to select that. And I can change this term from through to up to. And what's the key, right? Every single one of these has a colon. So I've changed this to bold. I've changed this to up to. Now we're going to switch this from one. We're going to leave it at one. And we're not looking for anything in this list here. We're looking for a specific item. We're looking for colon. So I'm simply going to type in here colon. We're looking for a bold up to one colon in the line. Click OK. And now here we are. We can automatically see that every single line is bolded up until it hits the colon. If you would like the colon to also remain bolded or to become bolded, we can change that as well. We're going to go back to our glossary paragraph style. Then I'm going to go back to the nested styles. 
and we can tell it to bold through the one colon. Now that colon is also bolded. All right, everybody, that is all. Um, you can use this particular skill to do lots of things. You could make these italic, you can make them bold italic. You could do it if you had, say, an M dash or an in dash inside of here. You would just insert that desired character into the nested style like I did. And go ahead and experiment a little bit. See how else you can use this to automate other things in your book and make your life easier. All right, everybody, I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Go ahead and like and subscribe and leave us a comment below. It helps out a lot. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.